Today we're going to be taking a look at part number A-6. This is the Kurt 2 and 5 16 inch trailer hitch ball. A few measurements to go over with you real quick. This hitch ball is going to give us a shank diameter of an inch and a quarter. It's going to give us a shank length measuring from the bottom of the platform to the end of the threads of 2 and 5 eighths of an inch. This is designed to fit drawbar thicknesses of a half inch to one inch thick. The hitch ball is going to offer a capacity of 10,000 pounds. It's made from a solid steel construction with a nice chrome finish on it, so it is going to stand up really well against rusting and corrosion. Now here on the sides of the platform, it's going to have the flats. These are just your wrench flats. Makes for an easier installation. You can get your wrench around there for a nice adequate grip. Really going to come in handy when you need to torque uh, this down. So the hitch ball will need to be torqued to specifications listed by the manufacturer. You can find all that information on the tag that's going to come attached to the trailer hitch ball. You just want to make sure that you remove this tag before your installation. Really simple installation though. The hitch ball is going to go straight through that opening on your ball mount. You're going to place on the lock washer as well as the nut and then you're going to get everything tightened down and again once you get it hand tight or once you get it tight with a wrench you will need to go ahead and torque it down to the specifications listed by the manufacturer. And it looks like for this particular mount, it says to tighten the trailer ball uh, to 450 foot-pounds of torque. That's going to do it for our review of part number A-6. This is the Kurt 2 and 5 16th inch trailer hitch ball.